Alrighty guys, welcome back to your fifth and final computer graphics tutorial on midpoint circle drawing algorithm. And in this one, I'll give you a mathematical demonstration using the second order difference as to how to draw the circle. Now the information that we have are the origin, which is given as 2, 3, but of course initially we'll just ignore it and think of it as 0, 0. Our radius is given as 10, just as before in the previous example. I chose to use the same example for you to compare the two. So, our initial del E is twice xp plus 3. Now we've taken the origin to be 0, 0, to be considered 0, 0, that is. So, del E is twice xp plus 3 becomes 2 into 0 plus 3, which is 3. And del C becomes 5 minus 2 into r, which is 5 minus 2 into 10 in this case. And that gives us 20, that's minus 15. All right, okay. Now, we remember from the previous video tutorial that on selecting E, we shall increase D by del E, increase del E by two, and increase del S E by two. On selecting S C, we will increase D by del S E, increment del E by two, and increment del S E by four. And our initially D start is one minus R, which is one minus 10 or minus nine. So our initial values are x is 0, y is 10, del E is 3, and del S E is minus 15. Okay? Alright. And our first E is 9. I mean minus 9. So we compare it with 0, and we have D less than 0. Our decision is E. Our x coordinate goes up by 1, y coordinate remains the same. Since we chose e, our del e becomes del e plus 2, which being, excuse me, which means 3 plus 2 equals 5. And our del sc is also incremented by 2, so that brings us to minus 15 plus 2, minus 13. Okay? Now, our d needs to be upgraded by del e. Remember, the del e is this one. Okay? So, minus 3 plus 6, I mean minus 9 plus 3, what the hell am I saying? Minus 9 plus 3, that's 6, minus 6 actually. And again, our D is less than 0, we choose E once again. We have our X going up by 1, Y remaining the same. So, our next D value would be minus 6 plus 5, okay? Minus 6 plus 5. Now, of course, we have to increment the del E by 2. That makes 5 plus 2 equals 7. And del S E becomes minus 11. Minus 13 plus 2 equals minus 11. So, once again, this becomes minus 1. We choose E since D is less than 0 once again. Okay. Our X once again goes up by 1. Y remains the same. Del S E goes up by... Uh, I mean, del E goes up by 2. And del C goes up by 2. Okay? Of course, our D would be incremented by del E. This del E, that is. Always the previous one. So minus 1 plus 7, that brings us 6. Okay? Finally, D is greater than 0. And we choose SE. So x becomes 4, 3 plus 1, y goes down by 1, 9, our next up d would become 6 plus del c which is minus 9 right here. So 6 plus minus 9 which would give us minus 3. Now before I go on I better update these as well. Del e becomes 11, 9 plus 2 and sc del sc that is is incremented by 4 so this becomes minus 5 okay so we have d less than 0 yet again and we choose e our x coordinate goes up by 1 y coordinate goes down no y coordinate remains the same because we chose e and our Next iteration, D would be minus 3 plus 11, because this is the del E right now. And we update del E by 2, and 
update the LSD by adding two to it. Okay, and this gives us eight. So D is greater than zero, we choose SE. Our S coordinate goes up by one, Y coordinate goes down by one. Our del E is incremented by two, and del SE is incremented by four. So, in the next iteration, we have D plus del SE, but the del SE was this one before the increment, so it will be 8 plus minus 3, or 5. D is still greater than 0, we choose SE. A squared will be 10 to 7. Y becomes also 7. Del E becomes 17. Del SE becomes 5. Okay? So, once again, we increment our D, which would become 5 plus, remember, the del SC was 1, so 5 plus 1 equals 6, or D is greater than 0, which is SC, X becomes 8, Y becomes 6, del E would become 19, and del SC becomes 9. However, this doesn't really matter anymore because our ending condition is reached, our x is greater than y at this point, so we've already crossed the first octet. So this is our stopping condition, remember? So we don't need to go any further. And one more thing we have to do is, remember the origin was at 2, 3, so the abscissa was 2, and the ordinate was 3. So, add the abscissa to all the x values. Okay. That will give us the correct x coordinate to all the pixels and add the ordinate to all the y values. See? So that's about it. Now you have all the x and y coordinates for your pixels, which are starting at 2, 13, and going on to 3, 13, 4, 13, 5. 13 and so on. These are the pixels that you need to glow in order to draw the midpoint circle algorithm. I mean, in order to draw the circle using the midpoint circle algorithm. So that's about it, guys. We are totally done with midpoint circle algorithm. Everything that it had to cover, we've already covered it. So that's about it. And in the next tutorial, we'll be leaving the circle, uh, the circle drawing behind and we'll start on something new. Okay, so until then, stay safe. See ya.